everyone, my name is Zayden from Reap What You Sow Gardening. Today, we're gonna be, but hold on. The reason why I'm not looking into the camera for like 10 seconds is because I have the flashlight on because it's pitch black out here. Well, it's not pitch black. I'm just exaggerating. It's just, wait, well, it matches up with the color of the sky correctly. Wow. We're gonna be showing you the perimeter and everything around the farm. So let's do this. Always have a green thumb, or in this case, Simpsons color thumb, because the lighting is like, like, yellow. So let's do this. First, well, let this thing focus. We have the logo. And then we have a fig cutting in the ground. It's not doing nothing. And a Jew and Jack squat. But you walk in the driveway to the farm all cub barn. You have a border, which this board fell off. Time on a cable. This thing fell off. Time on a cable splitter. Get Spectrum now. $45 of internet or more money. All right, guys. So over here, you walk in, you have your homemade row cover made out of trash bags. Then you have the perimeter, so let's name this. Poisonberry, I forgot the name of that. I know I said periwinkle in the other video. I had no idea what flower that is. It looks like a rose, but it's not. I'm gonna call these winkles. It's not a periwinkle, it's some type of yellow flower that looks like an orchid on this bush, but it's not an orchid. I'm gonna call it a winkle. So we have winkles. We have magnolia. We have azalea. As always, a black cherry, because black cherry's everywhere. Another black cherry, magnolia, azalea. And this is, what is this? I think that's some type of beech nut. Then we have a tulip popular, a viburnum, the, the fence, the gate. Now we have another popular, azaleas munch between there. We have the black cherry over here, another winkle. Walk over here, we have that rose looking thing. We got magnolia, some type of mulberry. Magnolia, black cherry, magnolia, winkle, magnolia, winkle, oak, winkle. Um, that is not, that is actually a, a, what is it? Red bud. Winkle, winkle, winkle. Um, this is azalea. Got black cherry, oak for the fence. This is a black cherry. You got oak and then poisonberry. This is a magnolia. And yeah, so this is the exit and entrance. Then we got this, the weird, you know, just monumental garden. And then we have this that is staking up this old viburnum. Hold on, let me take a leaf from here and I think this one might be dying. Hold on, let me see if I can find the other one because the leaves look different. This is the old magno, I mean not mag, the old viburnum in between the new one and the old one. The old leaf is right here in my hand, the new leaf is right here. So I think that viburnum over there is actually dying. Which is fine, but, you know, I loved it here. But then we have everything over here. Like I showed you yesterday. Another black cherry in this pot. Today I'm going to go a little slower so people can actually see. We got strawberries in there. Then we got a pool raised bed. Another raised one. So we got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Because yesterday I was rolling tires around saying, you gotta put the tire over there. Let's put the tire over there. So I did. This is a garbage can I'm using. It was a worm bin, but then I said, hey, the worms don't want to go in a pit. So I'll just put them in the other bin, which I'll show you. 
This is another big, another one. That was a watermelon pot, and then it was actually my tomato pot. So we got, you might actually see it on my old, little old garden tour from 2022 in April. But over here you got, this is a classic, look at that. miracle Grow Shake and Feed by the windowsill. Actually on the windowsill, reap what you sow, reap what you sow gardening edition um, hose mobile thing. We got all these pots. I said I'll clean it out today, but it's so rainy. We got your typical James. You got russet potato bags. I saw on my Indian friend Jag from Daisy Creek Farms. He actually grew stuff in rain gutters, like beans, green beans. These are not gutters. These are some type of weird piece of plastic, but I will bolt them together and make them one thing to see how it works. Got all these pots, some punnets, an ice tray that I use. We got the three pot. No, we got the can of lily. There's the, the root right there. Oh, we got the seeds. Let me see if I can find a seed for you. They're a little, they look like black eggs. If I can find them for you. Oh, here, here's one. Clean off. They look like little bugs almost. See it? That's the can of lily seed. This is Brian. I made it a homemade furnace. It did not work because it's not real. This is a old electrical box cover. And this is Bryant 452TX. That's not a real model, but look at this. Worm bin. So you got a worm bin. And just put the lid on. Also, shout out to Deep South Homestead, Scratch Made Homestead, Crazy Days, Just a Few Acres Farm, Daisy Creek Farms, you know, Self-Sufficient Me, David the Good, which I never mentioned before, I don't think. And also, if you take your car to the dealership, to, you know, to um, go ahead and get oil chains, remember here in Greensboro, look. Crown Honda, this is probably rare right now. Crown Honda, they changed the name into Greensboro Honda. Now tell me why they did that. I don't know. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a great perimeter thumbs up. Share this video around. And God bless. Have a great night. Have a great morning. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. And anyone who's watching this that I mentioned shout outs like channels, you're great channels. You are a great person.